To complete this series on search engine optimization with Rapid Weaver, I want to go over a few things that you should not do with your website in terms of content and SEO. These things can potentially um, penalize you and uh, hurt your search engine results because Google and the search engines have become very good at recognizing um, ways of trying to cheat the system basically. And so there are some keys um, to know as you develop your content. Some things you may have seen on other websites that you think might work well that maybe don't work well. And um, I've done a couple of those things here, one of which is um, internal linking. Um, as you can see here, we've got quite a few internal links through the paragraphs on the page. And this is really bordering on um, just far too many. Um, it's important to use internal linking as mentioned but you don't want to make every other word or a majority of the words in your paragraphs um, internal links um, that will not be helpful so be uh, use it sparingly um, or um, at least to a point where you're not just crowding a paragraph full of links like I've done here um, in addition something you don't see and that's the point is hidden words and um, if I come down here to the bottom of my content and I take my cursor and click and highlight these lines you will start to see words appear and these are keywords that I've built into the page but what I've done is I've matched the color of the words to the background of the page and so I've created black words to blend in with the black background and this is very bad this is something that was very common um, even just until a few years ago you could find this on a lot of websites and it is very very bad this is called um, consider, consider black hat SEO and it's um, not honest it's cheating and the search engines are pretty good at picking this out they can tell from the um, HTML um, from the code um, when you are hiding keywords so it's important that you don't risk um, being penalized and don't do that um, in terms of meta tags, we discussed meta tags. Let's go to the header here. Um, putting too many keywords into the meta tags can also be um, very bad. Um, so use that sparingly as well. I think I recommended between 15 and 20 words total. I think that's on the safe side and um, it's reasonable. I wouldn't do many more than that. Um, and certainly you don't want to put in a lot of keywords that have nothing to do with your content. That's um, another black hat technique and it's not helpful. Um, it can penalize you. Same for description. You want it to be um, succinct, um, descriptive, but not overly so. Um, so be careful as to how um, you create your meta tags if you choose to do so. Uh, those are a couple of the real popular techniques that have been around for a while and like I said the search engines have become good at recognizing um, those techniques and penalizing people for them so that's why it's important not to do that um, finally in, in terms of uh, referral links there are some websites that are considered link farms and and those um, link farms are basically just places where you can submit your website regardless of whether it has anything to do with any certain subject it just um, is submitted and that website links to you and it's basically just a, a site devoted to linking websites all over the place that don't have anything in common. Um, search engines are familiar with some of the more um, widely used link farms and um, and you don't want to submit to those because um, it could actually penalize you as well. So um, while I'm not familiar with what all of those specific websites are, um, it's just important to only link out from sites that have something to do with your topic. Um, and that are related to your website and that's the best kind of referral link that you can possibly have um, so those are just a few tips on what not to do um, one more I just realized um, I didn't mention before I don't think is how often you use your headlines I did mention you don't want to highlight an entire paragraph and create a heading one or heading two out of it um, but you also don't want to just create really really long headlines using um, many 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 keywords um, you want to use your most important keywords inside your headings and keep it um, pretty short and basic that way 
Um, that way you're no, you don't devalue the uh, those main words that are included in your headings. Um, and I think that about covers it. So I hope that these uh, SEO tutorials have been somewhat helpful in um, you understanding how SEO works and how you should build your website. And I uh, appreciate you watching.